Hey guys, this is Alan Adams Game and Let's Review on Episode 11 of Attack on Titan. Now, I know Episode 12 just came out. I decided to do the other episodes first, way before that. And so let's get started. You know, Episode 11 right now. Uh, this episode's got to be the craziest so far because, you know, everything that happened so far. For example, you know, McCasmo, you know, uh, Yamir taking Christo. Mr. Slash Historia with her, uh, Ryan running in his armored titan form, they're all getting ready to run away, they have both Krista and Eren in hand right now, you know, Ymir has no choice, you know, uh, choice, you know, how Arm, how Arwen Smith sees them, you know, how he just leads all the squadrons just to go after them, not only taking them, and but also a squad, a large group of titans to follow right behind them, you know, which is pretty scary, all right, you know, uh, one guy even calls him a demon because he's risking all their lives on a gamble, you know? Oh, uh, you know, because he's doing this crazy-ass plan just to get Eren back, you know? Because Eren and his Titan powers are lost. They can't, you know, have the bear because they, they lose him. You know, humanity may lose, you know? Uh, Ymir explains to them, and to Krista, that he has to go with them, you know? They have no choice because they, though they may just kill her, you know, uh, eventually right away because, hey, because... But Krista, she, Historia, she doesn't want to, you know, listen to it. Like, what she's saying doesn't make any sense to her, you know, because saying there's no life inside the Titan, right, inside the walls. Tell that to the Titans who, who may want to eat you, you know. Oh, but this, you know, this situation right now, what they do, they're dealing with, you know, this is a very risky situation they are at right now. Uh, because this situation... And this is very risky. Seeing this, seeing what they're going through right now, they may not have a choice, you know. Because right now, because Reiner, Reiner and Bertold, they say they can't guarantee her safety on the other side. So she wants to live, and she wants to live to see Krista again. However, Krista keeps telling her that I'm always on your side, that I'm always your ally, no matter what, what's going on, you know. Come on, you know, so, no, so please, just end this. Like, she's telling her that this is not the way. No, let's just be together. You don't have to, like, go this far from me, basically. You know? These are, things are right now on the up in hand, you know, because right now, basically for them, that soldiers getting eaten by Titans right now. This is a risky gamble, because this is a melee battle, because between the armor, between, uh, in the armored Titan, you know, right now, and their group, right now, you know, the Scout Regiment and their group, and the Titans who want to eat them all, you know? This is a big, big deal, you know? So many things that's happening right now. Mizuka, she tries to go in, tries to save Eren, and goes in. Reiner protects, you know, Bertolt, right? Meantime, you know. Now, seeing the look that Mikasa gives and Bertolt, you know, that serious look. Like, she's a real monster right now. Uh, that serious look, like, she's like she scared the crap out of Bertolt. Like, the look he got, you know? Now, cause when Mikasa gets serious, there's nothing that can stop her. I mean, we've seen her when she gets seriously. Like, if you remember season one, when she's... And when she slaughtered, like, many titans, you know, especially after Eren got killed and she was, like, straightforward into battle, you know. Mikasa is not to be underestimated in this situation, you know. Uh, she would do anything back. We get to see everybody, you know, from, from the 104, like, all the guys, you know. We get to see Connie, Sasha, Asha, you know, John, you know. They're trying to understand why, all right, were you guys lying to us? The, all the time that we spent together was a lie. How could you lie to us, you know? Oh, like, give Eren back, you know, that's for me, Kassa. Armin, you know, how, how could these guys deceive us for so long, you know? Like, everything we went through for the past few years has been for nothing. Like, they spent the better part of five to six years with them, you know? But we're told tells them that they're, it wasn't all alive, that it wasn't all alive, but we are, are who we are, that there's not, that so many sins that we've done, all the blood that they spilled, they cannot undo that, you know? They know they committed gravest crimes, the murder, and they destroyed, you know, Walmaria yeah, and, and, and caused a lot, and ruined a lot of people's lives. They know what they did. They're not asking for forgiveness because they don't want it, you know? They know the shit that they've done. They can't, they can't change that, you know? Uh, they have to do what they have to do, their mission. So they're going to get Aaron and go back home, you know? You know, this is a straight up battle. We get to see so many things today. Like, for example, Armin Smith, you know, telling all the guys to pursue after Aaron. And not to give up, you know. Tell them, give your heart, you know. She's so such a girl. Give your heart. Right, you know. So that's something, you know. Something, you know. And he got his arm ripped off by a titan, you know. Literally having his arm bitten off. And telling everybody to keep moving forward. Like, straight up. Like, that dude is fearless, you know. 
I mean, I, when the Hayate, Jaime Isayama created that character, he knew that this guy was going to do anything he can, you know, to make sure that to achieve victory, you know. Uh, so he made him one of the most fearless characters they can get, you know. They tried to do their best to try to get Eren back, you know, to try to understand this. And as you know, this situation is a melee battle, you know. Uh, they also know that they have no choice, you know. Hannes, you know, and all the others, it, and they need to move forward, you know. They can't just end this, because right now they're at this point, they can't, you know, afford to let this battle go. Having so many people, you know, getting eaten, fighting, this is a melee battle between three different sides. The Titans that want to eat them, you know, were told that Rhino wanted to go home home and take Aaron with them, and the Scott Regent trying to make it out alive, you know, by the skin of their teeth, you know. This is a major melee battle, you know. Uh, you know, uh, everybody's trying to find out what's going on, you know. Uh, and we're just coming off the heels of the big discovery. How one guy got eaten while he was just uh, eating right there when he, you know, like right there when the when the, one of the guys called the Scott Regiment was raging, like straight up, you got his head bit on with his length on, you know. Uh, Reiner, he's being surrounded by a whole bu dozens of Titans, you know. In this situation right now, he's basically stuck, you know, surrounded by so many Titans right now. Trying to protect the nape of his neck to make sure he doesn't get cut. But also trying to, prote trying to protect himself. It's a big bother. Especially when he has Bertolt and, Holt and uh, Aaron on his back, you know. And this is one of the craziest moments they, they did, you know. The crazy moments, like when, and when uh, Armin, you know, uh, stood on the top uh, between Reiner and Bertolt. Oh, you know, telling them all that stuff, you know, telling them, you know, to, telling them to, you know, uh, that you're leave, you're just going to leave them behind, you're going to leave Annie behind. How he, like, manipulates and preys on their feelings, I say, you're abandoning Annie, who's in the Utopia district, that they're torturing her, taking good care of her, that she wants to die, afflicting her pain to make sure she feels it, you know. Uh, Bertolt, you know, lost his edge a little bit, you know, he lost his edge, uh, he got distracted, uh, then all of nowhere, mmm. Her Armin Smith just comes out there slicing him, even though he's missing an arm, you know, just slicing him right in the chest and he managed to get Aaron back, you know. And so many people losing their lives, so many people getting eaten, you know, and they're trying to push forward, especially me, because when she went through a horde of Titans, there was so much stuff that went happen, you know. And they're trying to buy their time to try to get away. Seeing this situation as it is, you know, uh, I really like how they handled it. See, when they finally got Aaron back, you know, they finally made it through. True, you know, how, how like, how, like, Reiner threw a whole bunch of Titans at him, you know, like, four times. And I also, this is a fun fact, how the voice of Armin in his Titan form, it's the same voice of Armin in his Titan form from the Attack on Titan live action movie, like, <coughs> excuse me, it's the same loud roar. Like, if you compare them, it's kind of similar a little bit, you know. It's the same roar, because we never heard the Armored Titan roar before in the series, you know. He always had steam. That, that was the way back in Season 1. He always hung down steam. He made a bit of sound, you know, in the first season of Attack on Titan in the sub. But in the dub, they decided to edit that out. You now, for some reason, you know. I guess they didn't want... And remember, they changed the whole roar of all the Titans, the voices. I guess they wanted to make them more distinguished, to be, make sure they're different from, you know, the sub. Uh, from the sub, you know, and Armin, for, and, and Armin and me, because they're trying to understand the situation, you know, they managed to get Aaron back, you know, oh, but by the skin of their teeth, you know, everybody start to find out, and, 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 and Reiner throwing Titans off of him, just using them as, like, giant cannonballs, just throwing them right at these guys, you know, uh, they managed to get him back, it was a group ever, John, on Mikasa, everybody, he's trying to get, Back, but one of the things I gotta know, this is probably the best moment at the end of the episode. In the middle of the smoke, in the middle of the debris, one Titan's coming through. It's one we've seen him before, way back in season one. The Titan that, man, that, that shook Eren's world. The Titan that literally ruined his, basically set him on this path of destruction to ruin his life. The smiling Titan that killed his mother, you know. That Titan, you know, was all, that Titan, you know, haunts Eren's very memory. The one that destroyed his life a little bit, you know. The same Titan that Hannes saw, the, one, the same one that, you know, killed, you know, killed, you know, Aaron's mother, you know. That basically set him on this path to get revenge to destroy all the Titans, you know. This was a good episode. So many stuff that was happening. And, and this is just the second to last episode, you know. The last one is going to be even crazier. Yeah, how do I know? I know. Because remember, we're only getting 12 episodes this season and we're going to get another one later uh, later on, you know, which is pretty intense, you know. 
this was an intense episode, especially when it comes to Krista, you know, she wants, the thing is, her relationship with Yamir, you know, uh, her relationship with Yamir, like, she doesn't want to abandon Yamir, you know, and Yamir doesn't want to abandon her, which is putting her right now into conflict with her friends, like, when she saved a year from a, from a, being eaten by a titan, you know, and Cardi tried to rescue her, you know, rescue her, Historia, but, you know, she doesn't want to leave her behind, because she knows if she, knows that she can't, you know, abandon her, because she knows if she goes and reminds her for Toad, that she may not live, you know, uh, that she doesn't, that she may not, uh, see her again, you know, and Yamir and and, and, and Chris, uh, Stodia have a relationship. They have no choice, you know. Choice, you know, they have to do this, you know. Uh, this was a good episode. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I said that too many times. This was a good, this was, you know, I like it, you know, I liked it. And anyway, that's all. See you guys next time. I'm out. Bye.